guys to a new episode of Yako's Corner. Love the sound of that. Anyway, today we'll be checking out Source One, the pipe patch, no dig pipe repair system. What do I say now? Let's get started. That's right. Let's get started. Welcome everybody, my name is Yako. I spent the last 10 years of my life in the trenchless industry. In the Yako's Corner, I will try to present and review to you equipment and products used in the trenchless world. If you don't want to miss anything, please make sure to stay tuned for more. And don't forget to follow NoDeep.com. Welcome to Yako's Corner! Here we are guys, Yako's Corner! Let's get started with the pipe patch, no dig pipe repair system. Why? Because everything you need for the patch is inside this box, right here in my hands, okay? Uh, of course, you have a packer and a push rod. We're going to show you in a little bit about that. Um, it will be way better if I could show you this on a real situation, like a real job instead of on the desk. But of course, I do not have a job set up for today. I have one set up for tomorrow. And if you want to wait with me, you can't wait. Okay. Well, I guess. Well, you know what? You know, they call me the super duper plumber. Check these out. Ooh, whoa, how did that happen? Oh, wow, we are on site now here. This is the perfect job to show you the Source One patching kit and packer. So I'm here at their school in Rose Valley, Media, PA. Uh, we are getting ready to get a patch in the ground, but it's very difficult, so I wish I had help. And uh, you know what? Yako! Wow, Dave! Look at this guy! Dave from Source One is here! Good to be here. Yeah, how are you? Man? I'm doing well, how are you? Oh, good, awesome! Now that you're here helping us, so... Uh, you know what? Just say uh, hi. Dave Good. Donahue from Source One. Uh, I'm going to help Yako here. We're going to do a four inch pipe patch on site, real life. Tough job, and we're going to knock it out, right? Yeah. He All doesn't right. know what we're looking at. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know yet, stupid, but so. we'll figure it out. Well, stay tuned. We're going to explain to you how this setup is going to work and the benefit of it, and you know, on the job site. So. Cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you, Dave, again for coming. No you know, problem. if you need anything, anytime, anywhere, you call this guy. He's gonna show up on your job site, even overnight, right? You're yeah. gonna answer. Yeah. And if he doesn't, just call me. Either way, you want to show us what we have here and how this works, so everybody can understand. Yeah. Let's right. talk a little bit about the Source One equipment for pipe patch. Uh, here we have a three-four packer. Uh, this will install three or four-inch pipe patch kits. Um, next, let's talk about our regulator. This will regulate air into your Source One packer so you can inflate it to the proper PSI when you're patching uh, your pipe. This is a flex adapter. This will go on the end of your packer and this is very useful for when you're going around 45s, 90s, any kind of bends. This is- uh, I know for experience, so. Um, this is your push rod. Uh, this will push your packer into place and also inflate your packer as well. Uh, what's the length of that? That one? You have the 25 footer? Yeah. That's what you got? Yep. All right, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> there we, go. we have a couple different sizes of the continuous push rods. So, um, and we also have our standard five foot push rods as well. So we have a couple of different options, uh, push rods, um, and now, things like that. Does this come in the package or you can buy separate? How that works? 
Yes, uh, this is a part of the package, but you also have an option to uh, select different types of packers, sizes, an HD packer. Um, so it is a part of our system, but you have a couple different options depending on the jobs that you're gonna be doing. Well, we do have a personally kind of like different size. So this one is the new one we're gonna use today. So we're gonna show you how it's gonna work on site. All right, that was cool. So why we don't talk about these uh, box here? Uh, I mean, what is this? This is our Source One pipe patch kit. Okay. And every pipe patch kit comes size specific. So this kit is a four by 24 winter pipe patch kit. Winter. Winter, yes. Winter because we are in winter time? No, winter because we have three different styles of kits. We have a rapid kit, okay, which is very fast. Winter kit, and then we have a summer kit. So a summer kit is gonna be your longest wait and cure time, but you're gonna have more working time. The winter kit, less working time it's going to cure a little bit faster and then rapid is going to cure like that so same quality of resin same stuff in the package just different time in curing time different type of curing time that's awesome. awesome and good people like me they can use rapid cure you're a pro yeah because we go fast either way <laughs> while we don't open it and they show what's inside so they can understand uh what it's nice about you have a checklist on the back yep and that's pretty cool so we uh, call that our recipe for success if you follow the steps on the back of this pipe patch kit you're in good shape awesome cool so here dave show us what's inside these stuff. yeah let's go over uh what's inside the kit mm, it's like christmas <laughs> fiberglass <laughs> mat. and this mat is cut size specific to a four by 24 inch uh pipe patch kit so everything that comes inside is for this specific size awesome. uh, pipe the appropriate amount of winter resin that we're gonna apply on our fiberglass. This setup, it's a plus, I love it. I mean, I will show you, we will show you in a little bit, but I love yes. it. Yes. <laughs> Spatula to spread on the resin. And cook if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Gloves. Ooh. You can't find these around today. <laughs> uh, working surface, plastic, cause resin uh, will get everywhere. You wanna make sure that you keep your equipment and your table nice and clean. Um, plastic sleeves to protect your packer. Your packer is your investment. You wanna make sure that you're protecting it. The reason why we have two in there, one is for the dry run and one is for the live run. Also. And then? Bread ties. Oh. This will hold the fiberglass onto uh, the packer. We'll show you how to apply those. Tape, we're gonna make sure that we tape up our protective sleeves. Look at that. And, even though you have me here, you have instructions. Yes, wow. I'm going to show you how to um, put the patch on the packer, step by step, uh, kit contents, everything that you need. It's a good reminder every All time. Right, so, so we're going to go through the checklist, right? Yes. And we're going to start our job. So what is it? First step on the checklist, test your equipment. Test your equipment. So we're going to test our equipment to make sure that there are no leaks in these push rods. We got them all taped up. Let's just make sure that uh, our air is good to go. Good. So I'm going to go on the other end. Are you going to stay there? Yep. Good. Ready. Very good. Tight. Good to go. No leaks? No leaks. You are ready. All right, so we have check number two, transfer the measurement. So we're gonna get our measurement with the camera. We're gonna show you where we are. Come with me. Follow. We already created an axis. That's all we're gonna need. Right there, we're gonna stick our camera through it. We're gonna find our issue and mark it. Here we go. There we go, right there. Okay, so we have one here, and then you see the roots coming in? So we're gonna take mark number one right there, and then mark number two right there. Transfer this on the push rod with our tape. 
All right. Here we go, guys. We have our two marks. We're gonna go out and show you what to do next. All right. So, now that we got our measurement with our camera, we're gonna transfer those measurements to our push rod and the packer. We're gonna set up our camera right in the middle of our hatch right here. And we're gonna transfer our mark all the way down there. So we're gonna go to Dave, which already taped each of these connection on the push rod so they don't get hung up into the pipe, correct? Yeah, very important that you tape up every connection so as you're pushing your packer down the line, you're not hitting any offsets and you're gonna have that smooth transition. And awesome. And then as you can see, we just transfer our measurement to our last push rod. So when we push these packer all the way down, we know then we get to our mark and our patch is gonna be right in the middle. So we Correct. have our marks. What we're gonna do now, Dave? All right, we've already laid out our pipe patch material so we know everything is in the box. Now we're going to prepare our, our packer. Cool, so we have our protective sleeve. Yep. Right? We're gonna slide this in. Just like that. Just like that. All right. We are going to center our packer in the middle of this protective sleeve. Okay. Is what? We're gonna do the dry run. Dry run, just to dry. Woo! Follow us. All right, so we test the equipment, right? Yep. We transfer the measurement after we check with the camera. Check. We lay out the pie patch materials. Check. Right here. Perform a dry run. Did we? We did that. That was good. Now we are getting ready to mix the resin, right? So we want to know what time is it before we start and what's the temperature. Now we already checked, so. Correct. It's uh, 48 degrees outside, so we're going to add a little bit of uh, temperature as we're working inside right now. And we have 18 to 20 minutes of working time and an hour and a half. An hour and a half to cure. Two hours of cure time. Yeah. So. That's gonna work, so we're gonna get ready, we're gonna mix it, and we're gonna show you. All right, so we're getting ready to set up and then mix. So it's 12.55, are you ready? I'm ready. Good, I'm gonna put my 12.55 here, start our timer, mix the resin. Hold the pin. Right, we're coming around, getting ready to push it. We're gonna set our packer right there. Gonna snap our push rods. On it. 
Make sure it's covered. And we go to town, baby. We're good to go. Now it's waiting time. We just have 45 minutes to go. That's it? Oh. I'm kind of hungry. Me too. I wish my wife was here. You know, I could do like the, what I did before. Snap bread? Right? Yeah. <coughs> Whoa. Well. At least you brought us food. Yeah. <laughs> So it's 2.45, an hour and a half. It's time to pull it. Time to pull it. We're gonna disconnect it. All right, so we're gonna check with our camera and see if we heat the mark. Let's take a look. And it looks beautiful. Beautiful. Right there. Beautiful. All right, guys, so it's just after three o'clock. We're done. Let's, well, I mean, two, two and a half hour. What time do we start? One o'clock. <sighs> done. Done. Great product. Pie patch. Source one. Dave, thank you for coming out. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we just fixed the pipe. It looked great without digging or disrupting anything. So, I don't know. I mean, that was fun. And again, uh -huh. great time. I guess we should go out for dinner. Snap it. Yeah, snap it. Oh, wow! Let's go. Oh, cheers, guys. Cheers. All right, guys. The super duper plumber did it again. That was fast, easy, and awesome. We want to thank Dan at the school in Rose Valley Media PA. So check them out. And definitely thank Source One Environmental and Dave Donahue, this guy. Thank you for coming out. All right, so I hope to see you soon into the next episode of Yakos Core.